Karate is increasingly being practiced by Hazara women living in Pakistan, with hundreds adopting it for protection and self-improvement. Despite the predominantly Shia Muslim Hazara community being the city of Quetta's largest demographic, ongoing sectarian violence sees it inhabiting cordoned-off enclaves with checkpoints and guards to protect them. Hazara women routinely have to contend with male groping as targets of sexual harassment in Quetta's bustling streets, bazaars and transport services. The inner strength Nargis Batul gains from practicing karate provides her with a counterpoint to endure the local violence. We can uh, never stop this bomb blast by our karate, this is obvious, but there is one thing else, that, uh, it is a self-defense. Suppose you can freely, confidently go anywhere at night and you can just defend yourself that way. But there was one time my friend, somebody was just uh, teasing her on the way and when I went to that guy, he never teased him, her again. But I never kicked him or slapped him or anything like that. Karate is flourishing in the region, with 4,000 students sustaining 25 clubs and the lion's share of the two main academies being women. The sport also presents Hazara women with the opportunity to earn by competing in karate tournaments, spurred on by the examples of Nagas Hazara and Kulzun Hazara. These national champions have gone on to win international recognition. Generational change is slowly widening women's participation in sports in Pakistan, where it remains an exception. Instructor Fida Hussein Kazmi believes this is down to the gains karate offers. Apart from self-defense, it has many benefits. It has health benefits. There are many opportunities for females in karate. It allows girls to be appointed in various departments so that they can support their home and make the country famous at an international level.